Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is AD back with another mining video today. And today we'll be looking at LHR full unlock with the dual mining feature which is recently released by T-Rex Miner. So this LHR unlock is different from previous ones. Previously we have seen LHR unlocks like 30% of Ethereum and 70% of other coins. So this LHR unlock is different because here we are mining Ethereum at around 68% and Alephium coin. Alephium is a pretty new coin and remaining potential will be used to mine Alephium. So that's the reason this will potentially unlock your GPU up to 100% your LHR GPU. So today we'll be testing the same on RTX 3060 in O3D as you can see here it is. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here we are on our computer screen and as you can see here is T-Rex Miner latest version which is mining both Ethereum and Alephium. I'm mining Alephium on Hero Miners by the way. So you can find tutorials on how to mine Alephium on YouTube. There are a lot of tutorials but I'll just give you the basics of what to be done. If you are new to mining then it would be a little bit difficult for you but if you are already into mining then it's pretty straightforward. What you basically need is Alephium pool, Alephium wallet and a mining software. So in order to do that you just have to go into Google and type in Alephium. Here it is. So first thing will be the Alephium official website. Here it is blockchain v3 and if you are interested you can go ahead and read what the project is all about. I will not be explaining all of that in this video. So here once you are on the website you need to scroll down and as you can see here is the option to get the wallet. This is not the core wallet guys by the way. So this is their own Alephium wallet. So here you are you need to scroll down and download the windows executable and based on your operating system you can download it like if you have Linux this one here and if you have Mac OS then as you can see for me it's windows so I have already downloaded this. After downloading you need to install that it's pretty straightforward like you just have to do next and next then it will get installed let me show you alephium wallet pretty quick let me type in alephium there it is so it's an app basically it's not the core wallet kind of a thing so you need to enter your password just like other wallets how you do and you'll get a passphrase you need to keep that safely so i'll enter my password pretty quick Here it is. It says zero transactions yet. I have been mining for 24 hours by the way. And this is your address basically. You need to click on show address and copy the address. Put it onto the mining software and start mining. That's it. In order to use Alephium pool, what you need to do is you need to go into miner stats. So just search for Alephium mining. So here we are guys, we have couple of pools available for Alephium as you can see first one is Hero Miners, second one is Zuli Puli. So at the moment I am using Hero Miners, click on Hero Miners, go into the Hero Miners website and you can basically select whichever server is nearest to you and put it onto the mining software just like how you do for Ethereum. So what you need to do, you need to download T-Rex latest version, it's pretty straightforward just type in T-Rex on Google, go to GitHub, that's the official site. So let me just show you that as well because this is very important. So T-Rex, here it is. This is the official website guys, GitHub. And from here as you can see the latest update is 0.25.2 and it has added Blake 3 algorithm which is Polyphium coin and here it clearly says that it it will be mined with Alephium dual mining mode for LHR cards where Ethereum will be mined at 68%, Alephium will be mined at 32% by default. And this is what I have been getting on my LHR 3060. It's profitable or not, I'll be showing you that in a moment. So it also gives a note that solo mining to Alephium isn't supported. Okay. Download the Windows or Linux executable file whichever you are using. So I have been using Windows so I downloaded that, extracted onto my desktop and here it is okay one is for cpu and one is for gpu mining here so we have two so bear with me going into t-rex as you can see here it is and this is not this okay so this is the new mode which is eth plus alephium click on edit and you will have to edit your addresses I mean the server and wallet address etc. I've also set the overclocks onto T-Rex directly. I'm not using MS Afterburner. 
so that's pretty straightforward and by the way here are my overclock settings I have locked power at 61% locked the core clock at 1500 memory clock is at 1480 and I have set LHR tune to 74.5 but it doesn't work in dual mining so for at least for my card goes down to 68% however so I have just put this one 74.5 but it's of no use here and second one here it is as you can see you need to edit this one and put your wallet address next to this which is pretty straightforward again I'll not be showing that in this video once you are done with this you need to right click and run it as an administrator so that's it it will start mining ethereum at 68% and alephium for like 32% remaining so talking about the hash rates what I am getting on my LHR 3060 as you can see here it is on Alephium I am getting on average at around 230 mega hashes and on Ethereum I am getting at around 33 mega hash on average you can say it's like jumping all the way here and there so let me just go a little bit up to give you an idea as you can see 238, 32.64, 30.74, 33 so on an average you can keep it as 33 mega hash on ethereum and 232 mega hash and 230 mega hash on alephium so the main question here is whether it is profitable or not and whether or not it is really working for sure it is working because on ethereum on 74 LHR I was able to mine at 74.5 LHR and I was getting somewhere around 36 to 37 mega hash on my Inno 3D and that used to give me somewhere around 1.4 dollars at the moment previously it used to give even 3 dollars a day when Ethereum was on its high but now Ethereum has come down so it's giving somewhere around 1.4 dollars the video which I recently released on the channel you can go ahead and watch that that was only mining Ethereum for a month and that was giving 1.4 dollars as you can see mining alephium side by side yes profit has reduced a little bit not that much but a little bit i can say now it's giving 1.3 dollars a day 1.37 dollars a day and it's also mining alephium but alephium i didn't see that it's that profitable as of now because it's a pretty new coin and it's just priced at 0.5 dollars and considering the amount of coins what you are getting for the current hash rate that's 230 mega hashes it's not that profitable as you can see I've been mining for like one day now almost a day and here it is all my average 6 hour hash rate it says 206 mega hash 24 hours average it says 220 and as you can see valid share submitted 537 for the same overclock settings by the way so overclock setting works for ethereum and alephium both the pending balance what it shows is 0.53 alephium only mining for 24 hours i was not even able to get one alephium that's how crazy the network hash rate of alephium is at the moment and as you can see it's just able to get around 0.2 dollars a day and that is like pretty much similar to mining only ethereum that's the point what I have here and this is pretty much similar to mining ethereum itself so it's like there is no any major difference here a little bit increase in profits I can say so considering today's price of alephium it's a little bit profitable than only mining ethereum but do bear this in mind ethereum is down at the moment it's slowly climbing up from past week and again if it goes to its all time high of like 3 lakh rupees or 3 lakh 10,000 rupees then definitely your mined ethereum value will also increase so at the moment for 0.03 ethereum it's just showing 7,000 rupees or 6,000 rupees and if ethereum value goes up the same 0.03 mined ethereum will go all the way up to 10,000 or even 12,000 might be so that's what it is and alephium we just can't predict anything it might go up it might go up to two dollars or three dollars as well if that happens then definitely yes it will be more profitable than mining ethereum also so that's how it is but at the moment mining only alephium is not that profitable but yeah considering it's unlocking lhr to like at least i can say 95 to 99 percent for some cards yes you can go ahead and mine alephium side by side with ethereum but it purely depends on what do you guys think you can definitely go ahead and start mining and you can test it out like on some card 
you are getting 70% LHR Ethereum and remaining 30% Alephium on even on some card you are getting 72% Ethereum and remaining like 28% of Alephium if you get that then it's definitely way more profitable than only mining Ethereum so this was a quick little video talking about Ethereum and Alephium dual mining what do you guys think about this new dual mining feature for LHR cards do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, if you have any questions or any queries, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. Link is in the description. You can check it out. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.